For some reason to me, I don't know about you guys, but to me, it's been, it felt like it's been a minute since I sat down and talked to you guys and a lot has been happening, a lot has been going on. If you guys are following me on my social media, you already know what's happening, what's going on. You already know what's coming your way. Um, so today's video is a very exciting video. It is a unboxing haul try on with no other than a company that I have been following for a while and I'm so excited that I... I'm so excited I got out the confidence to reach out to them because the response I got back was more than I ever, more than I expected and I'm so excited because I finally get to give you guys an unboxing and try on home from Thread Up! So, so very excited that I reached out to them. I was in contact, I got in contact with Vivian, I believe, and she was so sweet, so nice, and she, they gave me some store credit so I could place an online order. If you guys don't know what Thread Up is, Thread Up is an online um, consignment shop. So basically, like, thrifting consignment shop where they add thousands of items each day, and they have a large variety of sizes, all the way from kids, all the way up to plus size, as well as maternity. I am so so very excited because you guys know I love thrifting. I love consignment shops. I love thrifting. I donned myself the thrifting DIY queen and that was my message that I sent to the Thread Up team as far as the reason why I felt like I would be a good fit and I would love to work with them. So I'm so very excited to Thread Up. Thank you so very much for um, partnering me with this video and I'm going to show you guys what I got. I'm so very excited, okay? Okay, if you guys have been following me on my social medias, on my socials and the medias, you already knew this was coming. You already saw my little sneak peek that I gave. Let's give a little sneak peek. I didn't, you know, just a little. Just a little. Okay, so I haven't went through the box. I just opened it just for posterity sake. Got a little footage online. I got a little footage so I can see how it's packaging. Off the back, I love the packaging. It's polka dot box. So cute with thread up all over it. Has a little close no polka dots. No polka dot left unturned. That's one on the back. You are checking out my bottom. Like, <laughs> this box is so cute. Are you checking out my bottom? Oh my god, this box is so cute. And once you open it inside, it has all of their social media information. Oops. It has all of their social media information. It has this cute polka dot tissue paper. These little stickers. Um, first thing on top is my packing slip slip my packing slip and it has my order number what i ordered make sure my size and everything as far as their return and return policy because you that's a good thing about usually with thrift stores or consignment shops or other thrifting boutiques you don't get the return of our items that you brought a final sale you get it you got it you can't return it but with thread up you get to return things if it's too big or it doesn't work for you Open it up, you get this cute little card. It says every week we shall every week we have seven chances to change the world. And then it comes with these little cards of every day of the week and they each have a quote. So cute. Oh, that's just that's positivity. And they say cute things like PR. So first of the back, the one of the things I am most excited about is this Maggie's Barnes button up shirt and you should guys already know you should already know why I like this shirt you should already know if you guys follow me for a while if you, you should already know why I like this shirt I love the red I love like the Aztec inspired pattern um it has shoulder pads but you know those are coming out I love this kind of loose flouncy top I feel like I have a few other items from Maggie Barnes that's literally this type of material and this top this top was oh this piece was $7.99 it's Maggie Barnes Maggie Barnes Burns I hope I'm pronouncing that Burns um short sleeve top this is a 5x and this is 70 seven dollars and 99 cents so basically eight dollars i love it it's like it got that over oversized slouch fit it's gonna be real cute a nice good layering piece for the fall um i'm really excited to get into this because this is just me this 
this is a me shirt next item you guys I flipped my lid and I was so excited that I wasn't going to get this item before my money came in but oh <gasps> The next item is from Simply B. This leather trench coat. <laughs> you guys should already know my excitement. If you haven't seen my the, my video of the greatest thrift haul of all time, you should know how excited I am for another. I have another trench coat. I have added another trench coat to my collection. All am gorge. Like seriously, and this good condition, like uh it's from Simply B. This is Simply B trench coat size 28, and this was $12.99 now. It wasn't a dollar seventy-five, it is not a um London fall, but it's simply B. I trust Simply B. And just look at this. It has the leather yoke. The yellow. I love the leather and the trench. Um, uh, what is this? Poplin? Did you use poplin? I love the contrast of the trench khaki and the leather with the black buttons and the belts and the... Oh. Ooh, I already got like eight outfits in that. Okay, maybe not eight. Maybe like five. I got like five outfits in mind for this. And I just... Now I got it out the box. Like, oh. I can't wait to try that on. I can't wait to try that on. The next item is just a basic white tee. Can never go wrong with a white tee. It's perfect for layering pieces. You can wear them on the dresses, sweaters. Uh, you can wear them tucked into skirts. Or, or, or you could throw a blazer, a jacket over it. And this one was. It's the Zayna short sleeve t shirt. 3X499. So $5 for a tee. Can't go wrong. This next item, I just think it's so cute. Oh, it's smaller than I thought it was going to be. But it's so cute. This is Topshop Bucket Bag. And this was $18.99. Now, this is a little expensive. I would never, unless it's a just fat bag and I'm getting like an actual tote bag. It's a little much on the tote bag, but I thought this was so cute. A nice little piece to add to my collection for the fall throw it on it could be like my statement piece a little pop of color and all black outfit absolutely cute absolutely adorable i love the little pom-poms on the bottom so cute and i never own anything from top shop i don't think i actually will pay full price for top shop how much is this originally priced hold on this is originally priced at 74 dollars and i paid 20 dollars for it that's not bad that's not bad that's that's not bad it's not not perfect it's not bad you know what i'm saying and the trench coat was originally $45 and I paid $12.99, so basically $13. So it's cute. Next item is this dress. This is so cute. Oh, this is Nash. Oh, cool. Okay. So this is Kiana. Kiana, I think that's how you say it. Kiana casual dress for X. Um, twenty nine, twenty eight ninety nine. So basically, twenty nine dollars. Um, originally priced at one hundred and nineteen dollars. Really cute. I love the faux wrap top. I love the little mesh cut out here at the stomach. I don't know if I feel about the different contrasts of the pat, the colors and the patterns. I don't know, but it's really cute. And I love Keanu. I know how I fit. I've, uh, I've tried a few of her pieces from Dana and Co. So, I was real familiar with this brand. I was excited to see it on Thread Up. Okay. So, I have one other item. It's in a whole nother box. And it just got here today. It's big and heavier than I anticipated. Maybe I should have got a 4X. Oh. Okay. This is... Get it together. This is... This is a Jet Cardigan 4X. Um, 
and I got it for $29.99. Original retail price, $89. I have heard of the brand Jet from Gwenny B. If you guys haven't seen any of my Daniel Cole or Gwenny B hauls, I believe those links. I have heard from Jet and I actually own an item from Jet. I really liked it. I brought it from Gwenny B because it was so cute. And I just thought this was a cute little cardigan. It has like um, a waterfall detail in the front. So it just kind of comes down like this. This would be a nice, good uh, pop of color, business, casual, layering piece for the fall and winter. Hey, stylers. You're probably wondering, wait, what just happened? Well, what happened was I was waiting on another package to come from another thrift store boutique. And it didn't come until yesterday, Thursday. So I just had to sit back down and re-record the second half of this video because I really just want to show you some more thrifted pieces that wasn't often brought up. Like I said, I'm really into huge into thrifting. You guys know that that's like a second passion of mine. I take you really serious. Over half of my wardrobe, over half of my wardrobe is thrifted. And I just want to share with you guys some of the places I like to thrift. You guys have already heard of Diva Express. I have talked to my divas just for since the beginning of my channel. I've already done, a, I think, a haul on them. I featured her in several of my lookbooks and styles and such, as well as on my Instagram. So I wanted to share with you guys another uh, thrifted boutique that I have been following for a few years now, and that it's beautifully vintage here on Instagram. She is a local native of Chicago. Um, I'm actually going to meet her tonight, uh, tomorrow, no, tonight. And I'm really excited to meet her, and I'll probably take my camera to get some vlog footage of that. Um, so I contacted her and told her that I was simply looking for something because I want to do some of the video. And she put me on to a few pieces that she had in her shop. And the package, the stuff just came in yesterday. I just want to share that with you guys. First one here is this beautiful vintage beaded blouse. I mean, this is so retro, so vintage. Like, I just, I could just remember it when I was younger and women wearing this back in the 90s. The 90s as well as, you know, before I was born in the 80s. This beautiful beaded top. It has like the scallop edge on the hem oh my goodness it has the peekaboo claps closure in the back this is a south this is a size 4x i believe this was 20 dollars it could have been like 16 dollars uh it's so heavy it has a lining on the inside so the bead parts don't irritate you okay. it's kind of snug and it's kind of snug and a bit too fitted around my stomach and partially my bust area so I'll probably wear this in the fall and the winter with my corset just so I can get that extra waist and I just love this. I can dress this up, dress this down. I can wear this over um, up with a beautiful skirt, um, either tucked in or have it over it like um, maybe like folded up to be cropped or I can wear this over a pair of jeans and wear it casual. Like it's just, I've seen so many ways bitch just talks like this and worn. I'm just glad that I finally have one in my collection. Like. This is everything. And the second piece I got, I only got a few pieces from her, is this vintage, very retro, very retro bag. Is this not cute? Is this not adorable? Like, this is so retro. This is so... Oh, uh, who mama bag is this? This is somebody mama's. I took this from somebody mama's. She took this from somebody mama's closet. This is so cute. I love the buckle, the little... It's like one of them bamboo hoop earrings, real cute. I love the black and white. It has like this snake skin pattern all over it. And I love the different textures and the different uh, colors that it has with the silver and the black and the white. It's so fun. It's so different. I wish the strap was a little bit more longer, but I probably just wear it off the shoulders. It'd be a nice evening bag so I don't have to worry about trying to wear it crossbody. This was so cute. I had to get this. I think this was like $10. $10 I want to talk a little bit about the my experience with ThreadUp. Um, the customer service is really friendly. The, the woman I spoke to, Vienna, I did tell you, um, yeah, she was really sweet, really nice. They gave me a store credit to shop with, and I also brought a little bit more stuff with my own money. Just to give you guys a fair and honest opinion, of course, as always. Um, so, some of the pros and cons with ThreadUp. I like the fact of how it's categorized. You have women, you have plus. You have women, and then from women, you go into plus, maternity, mistress, uh, petite. Um, I like that. Then they have kids, and they have juniors. I like the fact that everything is separated by items. So, you have shoes, bags, dresses, coats, um, sweaters, bottoms, stuff like that. And I also like how you can 
vary the size now like with any other store you can go buy sizes price color etc etc i also like the fact that you if you're looking for something specifically like if you're looking for sweaters you can type in sweaters you can look type in trench coats you can type in sequins you can type in specific things and find them specifically on the shop i like how easy it is to navigate and how everything's categorized I do like the fact that you can like items as well as you can like an item so you can come back to it later and as well as you can add stuff to your cart and when you add an item to your cart it puts it on hold so no one else can buy it but it's a limited time hold I don't know how long the limit goes but it's a limited time hold. I also like the fact that you can go back and you can look at your items like how I did with you guys I can tell you what I got how much I paid for and how much it was originally priced. Only critique right now with ThreadUp is their um, measurements their measurements um as far as like how stuff fits on the body is not that great some items do give you so much management but they're kind of wonky they only measure i think across the bust and the length whereas with skirts and bottoms they don't tell you the waist measurements and we all know certain brands and stores have different measurement size so say i was looking at something that was a 4x and it doesn't say whether it was a 4x um a 3x whether it's a 3x as in standard 3x or as a 3x as in junior plus size it is and it doesn't give you the a measurement of the circumference of the waist so you will know exactly how you want to fit so it doesn't really measure hips it just measures like across the bust the front of the bust not a the circumference of the bust the front of the bust as well as length whereas especially diva express she measures everything pit to pit um, arm length, the circumference of the arm, hips, waist, length, so you get a full understanding of how things are going to fit up your body if you're well familiar with your measurements. Thread Up does not do that. That is something I hope that they will get better in the future. Um, so that is one of my only issues with Thread Up is that it's not specific enough. I feel like with online shopping it's always difficult because you don't know your size. Different brands and different companies have different measurements for different sizes as well as with thrifted items especially as you go older in time a lot of older pieces have their measurements are different from nowadays so things are things run smaller or at times a bit bigger as especially when you go to start um conversing that to uk sizes versus us sizes so i feel um just make sure that you read their measurements well um if you if you can, if it's a brand that is now and popular or now and it's still current, you can go online and look at their size charts. If they, if for whatever reason the company or the store or the um, vendor don't have the measurements, you can go online and you can look at that that brand's size chart so you can see how their sizing is before you order in case you're a bit unsure about their sizing. That's a good tip. Um, ask questions, especially with these thrifted these instagram and facebook vendors ask questions say hey can i get a little bit more measurements some garments have measurements some garments don't some garments have uh, material or uh, fabric um listing some of them don't and it's just some that just shows inconsistency and i'm not that's i'm not saying it as a complaint or as a reason not to shop at thread up it's just an observing of someone who preserving for me a, a person who has been doing online through instagram um thrifting for a few years now that's a, that's just something i noticed and i got used to having that option when i was looking at things um online that were thrifted or vintage so overall would i recommend thread up to stylers yes i will now it is a bit more expensive it's not like going into savers or a goodwill or a beautiful vintage or any other thrift store you could think of salvage army is not as um inexpensive as those thrift stores are it's a little bit more pricey but a little bit more price pricey it's a little bit more pricey but compared to actually going into a regular retailer or online retailer it cuts those prices by half sometimes even almost 70 80 percent off and i could appreciate that sometimes i can't afford to buy a 50 dollar dress but i can afford to buy a 20 dollar dress so i appreciate that um I really did like my experience with thread up i really again i would recommend you guys i do highly recommend um thread up for the fastinista that loves a good thrift buy so the thrift needs a fastinista 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to go try these items on so you can see how everything looks on me. I'm going to leave a link to thread up in my description box. And I'm going to leave a link to, I'm going to leave a link to both Beauty Free Ventures as well as Diva Express. You can follow them on Instagram at Diva Express and at Beautifully Vintage. Um, tell them Nadia from Full Style or Kiki Way to send you. Okay, guys, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm talking as much. I don't want this video to be too long because of other stuff to show. Thank you so much for watching, stylers. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys check out Thread Up. Um, if you want to see more of me on the everyday basis, please follow me at Full Style, both on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Um, yeah. Let me guys go. Let me guys know if you have tried Thread Up. What is your experience? If you have tried online thrifting, what is some of your favorite boutiques or places to go to? I would love to know. Add a little bit more to my um, arsenal. Um, thank you so much for watching, guys. And always remember to love yourself fully. Until next time.